Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Wow, it is brighter than heck out here, folks. We are starting the day off with something we've been waiting on. Well, it's, it's this right here. I don't know if you guys know what this means right here, but um, we're going to do a quick unboxing. This is something we've been working on for months and months, and it's finally here, and we're excited to announce that it will all be available on July 20th. So mark your calendars, July 20th, but we're going to do an unboxing. Beefcake merch has arrived, folks. It is here. Um, like I said, July 20th is the drop date, so we're going to show. We don't even have all the products. We've got like half the shipment in, um, so we're going to go over that, and then maybe in a future video, we'll show you the rest of them. Um, but uh, yeah, just sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Boom! Here's your box right here. All beefcake stuff, just for you, Bonzo. It's your birthday, congrats. Oh yeah. Right here, inside this, look at this. Beefcake hats, folks. Look at that, have you ever seen anybody have this? You have it, because we, we, we designed it. There you go, congratulations. And we even got the old brown one, that's my personal favorite. Little uh, cowboy looking, Millie. There you go, Rick. Right here, we've got another, we, there's a bunch of multiples, because that's for all of us. But, right here, first shirt we're pulling out is a, can you say it, Bonzo? Ah, uh, you got this. Now you got it. Shoo! Shoo! Yo, shoe shirt! That's Finally! One of my favorite. Everyone wanted shoe merch! Alright, here, yep, more hats. Yep, okay, yep, more hats. These are all the same. We have more hats coming, okay? So, for those of you hat folks, this is just the beginning. Lucy! She just ran off with the beefcake hat. Hey. Next up, we've got a shirt right here. Certified Beefcake USA. Right there. We all know you guys watching, you guys are all certified beefcake, so that shirt's for you guys. Then we've got the old classic, just beefcake logo t shirt right there and some OD olive green looking thing. <laughs> Then this shirt right here, this is the same one I'm wearing, it's just in a in an olive color. Little BC logo on the front and then on the back. You got the old flag, everybody loves a good old flag, beefcake flag right there. This is the shirt I'm wearing, right here. Another flag shirt with the little BC logo on the front. Yep, sir, right there. Then we've got more certified beefcake right there. If you guys are certified beefcakes, get yourself one of these guys. And then although it's hotter than heck out, you know, sometimes you, you need a hoodie in your life. So we've got hoodies right here. Little beefcake logo right there, as well as the old beefcake flag on the back of the hoodie. This one's one of my personal favorites. Look at this guy. We did beefcake and it looks like beef, like, like a steak, like a marbling of a steak. I thought that was pretty neat. So we got a beefcake shirt right there. We've got another hodie in here again. I know it's hot, but there you go. Little beefcake logo action. That's a olive OD green color. Last but not least, the old beefcake, actual beefcake t-shirt. So like I said, that's not 100% all of it. That's probably half of it. Um, we've got a lot more hats coming, maybe even some that looks a lot like this, just a little sneak peek, but we'll keep you guys updated. But mark in your calendar, July 20th. That's when all this is going to be dropping. We're not sure how long we're going to sell it for. It might be a limited deal. We're not sure. We're going to try it. A lot of you guys have been saying, I get hundreds of comments every single day. We need beefcake merch. So we brought it to you guys. July 20th. Mark in your calendars. Today's episode though. Fresh. Look at that hat. Yep. That, that hat's a good looking hat. Never seen a better looking hat in my life. It's a good hat. Anyways, we are going to do a little challenge. Something that I believe I did, was it one year or two years ago? I want to say two. Probably I did two. this. It, I bet it was two years ago. So there was a challenge where you go to the gas station and you buy scratch off tickets like lottery scratch off tickets profits from that you take and then you go buy fishing equipment and then go fishing with that it's a lottery ticket fishing challenge in the backyard so we're gonna run off try to go find some lottery tickets buy a whole bunch of them scratch them off and see what we win and then go to the store and purchase items with that amount of money we might win big we might i would say let, let, let's do it real legit we're buying a rod and reel we're buying it all two hundred dollars two hundred dollars we're gonna start with to buy a rod reel all the lures that we we need we could turn that two hundred dollars into three four five six you don't know i mean it's it's the lottery like you might win a lot or you take the 200 bucks and you turn it into like 50 bucks because you you took a fat l and then you you're stuck with 50 bucks to get a rod reel line and lures. It could go one way or it could go the opposite way. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks. We made it to uh, we made it to the spot where we're hoping there's some scratchings. Like you, you might be wondering I'm laughing. Old man over there. Is that kind of funny? <laughs> He's just like, I scared this guy. <laughs> Poor old man was sitting in the seat and I just shooed right in his ear and he freaked out for a second. But we're going to walk in here and see if they got any scratch off tickets. You guys stay tuned. There you go, Bonzo. Oh, look at this. We got. Oh, we even got you a mega crossword. How about that? I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure this lighting's bad, folks. I apologize. Let's go park in the shade real quick. Here we go, folks. We got a bunch of scratch offs. We went in there. I spent two hundred dollars. Probably one of the worst investments I've ever had. Um, there you go, Rick. Oh, thank you. We got a bunch of different ones. We even got. Where's the? There's one. Oh, this guy. The ace is high. This is a twenty dollar. You can win up to a quarter million. We get a quarter million. You know how many fishing poles we're gonna buy at Walmart? A lot. Oh, that'd be a lot. Of them. We're gonna go ahead and start scratching. The interesting thing about scratch offs is you don't even have to scratch off you literally can scratch to cash right here 
and scan this little QR code and they'll tell you, but there's no fun in that. So we're gonna go ahead and start scratching. Okay, do, is they have rules on this? How, do you know how yeah, to play? Match song. any of your numbers to any winning number. Win, per, oh, these are the winning numbers. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so winning numbers, got it. I didn't win anything. You didn't? Nope. Really? This game is rigged. Okay. <laughs> Two, nine, 13, see it, do you see a 22? No, do you see a one? No, do you see a 32? No, 12, no, 23, no, and 24. This thing sucks. I, there was 44, and look at this, look how, you know how, you know how rigged this is, look at this. 40, 41, 42, 44, and guess who had 43 up there? Freaking rigged, folks. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and scratch the rest of these off. We'll let you know if we win anything. Um, and then we'll go. win $10. You got 10? Yeah. Right no there. way. Three nines in a row. Rich. So we got our money back on that one. So we've got $10. So right now we've got $190 loss. This is this is a good investment. Oh, I got so, 10 more dollars. No, shut up. Yep, see, three nines in a row. Dude, Bonzo's on a kill streak right now. This is this a good is, one. This is a good one. Yeah. I like this game. So we're gonna keep scratching. If we win, we'll keep you guys updated. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go, let's go cash in, folks. We're gonna start scanning here. 20 bucks. Oh, That's yeah. That's a good deal there. Not a winner. Not a winner. Not a winner. $20. $20. Doubled it. And we, and we spent... That was 10. We spent 40, though. Because there's four of them. Oh. Like in total, oh, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just took a L of 20 bucks. Yeah. Perfect. It's a good investment. Yeah, it's a good investment. All right. Other side. Just killing it. Tw 10 bucks. So you broke even on that one. That's a good deal. So we have, we're up to 30. Not a winner. Not a winner. 20 bucks. So 30 out of 40. So we lost $10. Yep. Not a winner. Crack, congratulations, ten dollars. Not a winner. Not a winner. Here's your crossword that you couldn't figure out. So what if this is the big jackpot? It's a doozy. Not a winner. Your crossword was worth nothing. Eighty, forty bucks. What up, G? Oh, really? Ten bucks. Not a winner. All right, we got two left. See, I don't know. I think we're probably in that 80 to 100 range. Yeah, close to 100. Not a winner, last one. Big winner. Give me big, big daddy here. Come here, buddy. Yeah, you can do it. Rip. All right, these are all the winners. Let's go cash them in. Oh, 110. 110. 110. We lost 90 bucks in like two minutes. That's, good. That's a good investment there. Oh, yeah. Cold hard cash. Nothing like losing 90 bucks in 10 minutes, Bonzo. So that was a good time. Congrats. You did great. Happy birthday. We're going to Walmart with $110 to buy rod reels, lines, lures, everything for a fishing challenge. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, made it to good old fashioned Walmart. See? I don't even have to do it. I just be like, I just jump out of the truck and just pan. <laughs> Shoo! We're going into Walmart. We've been kicked out of this place, nah, maybe 20 or 30 times. So, there's a good chance we won't be able to film it. And we just keep coming back because I want to take you guys to Walmart, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is with us filming. We don't bother nobody. Not really, at least. I mean, I feel like we keep, we keep, we're, we're pretty well behaved in there. Get your AirPods in business, Banjo. This is, uh, Banjo, bon Bonzo got AirPods. And ever since he got AirPods, he's a big business guy. So anytime he's on big business meetings, we call him Banjo because I accidentally called him Banjo once. So we got, are you actually talking to somebody? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Kyle. Kyle. What's Kyle want? And ask him how my pond's doing. Is it flooding the fields? Anyways, we're going inside ba business banjos on the line. We're gonna hopefully not get kicked out. Oh, there's security at the gate. Oh, this should be fun. All right, what are we dealing with here? So 110, oh, these old catfish. Okay, we could get some catfish stuff. You get the old noodle. We have like some rope and stuff. We could always buy a new noodle. I say we get on that cane pole grind. $9. Nine dollars. <laughs> Does banjo, you want the old cane pole banjo? <laughs> banjo wants the old cane pole. Okay, so we already bought this this combo right here. They've, I mean, they have a bait caster combo for 59 bucks. What's the four? 49 one. 
49 is the old Shakespeare, which they don't, those are, those, that's not that. These are all the Black Maxes. We could get it. Bates. Oh, you even get Bates with it? Really? That's gonna, Walmart's always got the deals, man. They're always, they're, they got it figured out for sure. I'm looking. So we need to get a rod and reel first. So the thing is, is there's a lot of weeds at the pond. The problem is it doesn't come with line now. So we'd have to buy a line, which if you're going to buy a line, you'd probably buy Bray. And if you buy Bray, it's kind of expensive. 12 bucks. Oh, yeah. There's 12, 12 bucks for 40 pound Power Pro. That's actually pretty cheap. That would, that would work. If we're trying to get the old frog, the froggy house. So that would be 60, 75, and then it would just be baits after that, which that would leave us like 30, $30 in baits. I think that we should do that. All right, let's get, I've never actually used one of those type of combo. So get the old combo here. Top what kind water. of baits? Some little poppers, top water bait, bait bonus pack. How about that? And then some 40 pound power pro. That's gonna, that's what we're gonna spool that guy up. So we're gonna, we're, we're gearing this thing up for actual bass fishing. So, so this is 12 plus, so let's just say 75. Okay. 75. Meaning we've got, we're not counting tax. So we've got 35 more dollars. So the old topwater frog action. Oh yeah, we, we, we got some frogs in here. Yeah, scum frogs. They got these little, all oh, the pop and pad crasher for sure. Oh yeah, that guy, that guy works. So that's six, $6. So that's 81, 81. Okay. And then let's get some hooks. Cause I, cause there's a lot of grass there. So I know we're going to be flipping and pitching kind of in the little, in the bushes just a little bit. All right. We can grab the old stick baits. It's always a go-to $6. What were we at? 80, 87 now. 80 87 now yep. 87 okay we need some hooks and some weights do we have hooks and weight i feel like i did not see any hooks and weights actually unless they're they're hidden somewhere else let's see oh okay gotcha right down here yeah is that like a two uh, out let's get a three out what kind of worm did you get how big got the old i got the old stick bait so a three out that'll do it they don't have any weights though Unless we go weightless, we could go weightless. Yeah, we could go weightless. What are we at? Eighty nine. We got, we have some money, Bonzo. This is actually going a lot better than expected. We could, we could get on that catfish grind. We got about twenty dollars. We got about twenty bucks, Bonzo says. So twenty dollars. What, what, what's this thing? What's that go for? Is this twenty bucks? Cause this, you could go on bluegill duty if we get this. Does anyone see a price anywhere? Oh, thirty. We want twenty. Yeah. Rip. We could do some jugs for some, some meowers. Are these really ten bucks? I did not know they were ten bucks. That's a complete rip off. Oh, it's a three pack. Okay. This is making a lot more sense now. I was gonna say ten dollars for one noodle seems a little excessive. Okay, so we could throw some noodles out. So ten bucks, we have ten more dollars. Okay, so we're gonna have to get. So this is two, three bucks. And we had ten, so we have seven left. Seven left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna need hooks. So let's get. We're not really. We're fishing. If we're gonna fish in the backyard pond, we don't need any giant hooks. So probably you think here's five odd circle hook five odd. I mean our catfish, our catfish aren't that big though. Maybe go for four odd. Okay, so four odd. So that's three dollars. So we're down to four dollars, I think, left. So so then we need bait. So the real question is, we have like, th I think we have like three or four bucks left. Magic, I mean, ma we could buy magic bait. That stuff sucks. So really? here's Nightcrawler, here's King Cat, Shrimp, Crawfish, Chicken Liver, Whopper Shad. I say this guy. Do you think, what, or could we do something different? We could get some meat, potentially. Like we could get some wieners. I mean, let's just get this. Yeah. This, this is about what this is about what it would cost for you know to hit our our final. So we, we've got all the stuff to dangle catfish, all the stuff to dangle for bass. One hundred and ten dollars ish spent, and we're gonna go home and get rigged up and hopefully catch fish. You guys stay tuned. Wow, folks, we actually were under, even with taxes. So our math was way off. Apparently, we must have missed an item. We 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 were right at a little over one hundred and eight dollars. We saved like a dollar fifty um, profit, so big big win there. Um, but we, yeah, even with taxes, we were at one hundred and eight. So we made it out. We got all the goods. We're ready to catch some bass and some catfish. Stay tuned. What are you doing, buddy? You wanna go fishing? You wanna go? No, you can't come with us. No, you can't come with. No, quit. Would you quit batting at me? No, you can't come with us today. Lucy, why did you pee right there, Lucy? Lucy, give me one good reason why you need to pee right there when the door is open, you can went outside. Lucy, why did you pee right there, huh? Why'd you pee right there? Anyways, folks, how's it going? This is this is the gear we've got. Rod, reel, line, lure, lure, lure. Then we've got the hook, bait, the noodles, and the line. So, and we got some, these I didn't buy, but these are just what we had laying around, weights and swivels. Nothing too crazy. We actually had money for that, but we didn't buy them. We already had some. Anyways, we're gonna get everything rigged up, and then we're gonna head out on the water and hopefully catch some catfish and some bass on the lottery ticket purchased items. You guys enjoy. Well, folks, we made it down to the pond here. And, well, now you see why I got braid and a frog. Look at this. This is, uh, yeah. Well, it's actually really clean. That looks nice. This is actually, this grass is probably filtering it pretty good. But it's, it's pretty bogged down. I mean, the old weeds are, whew, they're a little pretty brutal. 
How's this boat looking? Is the boat looking neat? Oh, actually, she's full of water. Uh, some soggy wieners and water. But as you can see, it's it's actually pretty clean. I think I think we'll catch some fish, but that's again why you see why I got the old stick baits and the top water frog because basically I'll pitch the stick baits on these little holes, the pockets and the edges, and the top water frog can go over the top. Um, but we are gonna throw some jugs out, and I'm thinking pretty much just down this channel. You can see where there's not weeds is where the little bit deeper water is. So now you can actually visualize it a little bit easier. So we're gonna load everything up in this boat, and we're gonna head out and try to catch some fish. Oh, you got it. All right, go ahead, Bonzo. Oh, there's still quite a bit of water oh, in there. Wow. Bombs away, boys. Dope. I like weeds. Look at this. This is a good time. We're getting there. It is pretty clean, though. That's good. That's good for the boat. Look at that sheer drop off. Oh my gosh, look at all the bait. Balls of bait, like millions of bait. Really? I wonder what fish that is. That would, they're like, they look a little bit more like bluegill than they did bass. They weren't very long, but there was like a ball. Like, that's wild. I don't know if you guys, I know the, the camera's got a polarizer. I don't know if you guys can see it though. That's insane. I've never seen anything like that here. Curious what they are. There's a big bluegill below them. You can see them now, right here. Oh yeah. See them? Oh my goodness. There's millions. They're, I mean, they are like two days old type tiny. I'm curious what that would be. They might be bass. They're a little long. That's crazy how many there are though. Yeah, there's some blue, there's some bluegills lingering about. This is the clearest the water's been in a long time. And we can see, you can see really far down. So we're trying to, I'll probably get the jugs out first. So that way they can kind of marinate the longest. So we've, we've been trying to improve our, our uh, jug game, like efficiency wise. There's no hooks. And then we put these little snap swivel looking things on there um, instead. So what you'll do is you unwind this doohickey thing. It helps if you close the snaps, probably make it a little easier, but go ahead and unwind it like that. And then you're gonna take bait and hook at the same time. You got your hooks and you got your bait. This is the old magic stuff. It says not for human consumption, but I feel like Bonzo should give it a taste, no? Get in return. Oh, <laughs> oh golly! Yeah, that's good stuff. That's worse than I thought it'd be. Oh, we'll catch them now. That's good. That's a good deal there. All right, so get yourself one of them hooks, and then find yourself a little swivel and clip your hook on that. Now this. Rip. Now I know this might not be like proper way of doing it for efficiency. I feel like this is efficient. Nothing gets tangled. And when you catch fish, you just unhook it. Take your little nugget. Oh, we'll hope they stay on. Not sure, Bonzo. Seems a little squishy. It might not work. It might work. We're not sure. Then take your other hook. Same thing. Thread it on. Thread it on the old swivel. Shut the swivel. That's important. Take your nugget. We're gonna try that. All right, let's get this guy out. Definitely got tangled. Rip. We already lost a nug. Bonzo, we just lost another nug. I don't know if the nugs are gonna do it, Bonzo. Who designed this? I'm confused now. Bonzo was right though. Definitely should have grabbed the old hot dog. I just thought these would have stayed on better, but I guess not. I bet there's no bait on there at all. Probably just fell off. Well, we'll go throw the other two out. I don't have much confidence now. And well, maybe we'll have better luck bass fishing than catfishing. I mean, we might work. I just feel like if the catfish goes up and just like pecks it, it's toast. Like it's just gonna come off. So I'm not super confident, but we're gonna get the rest of the jug set out. All right, jug number two going down. Two down, one to go. Here we go with number three, folks. Oh yeah. Oh, that one, nah, I don't know if that one, that one might've hit the bottom. Well, we got all three jugs out. I have about, I don't know, 2% confidence in these. Those are our nugs, so. I'm gonna go grab the old top water and see if we can catch some bass. All right, Bonzo's on bird watch duty. How's that going? I haven't seen a bird You haven't yet. seen a bird? You see one? Falcon. A fal a red tail? Red a red tail, tail falcon? falcon? Look at this guy. This we got all the rare stuff out here. You didn't even know that existed, did you? All right. So here's my first experience with this. So this is good. This is a good teaching moment for you guys, okay? We're bringing back bass teacher flair. That guy's gotten some... He's... I, I swear I've seen him dance twice. Really? Oh, yeah. So what you're going to want to do when you get a new bait caster, especially one that's not high quality, kind of like this guy, you want to set the tension. So here you got your little doohickey clicker thing, okay? That's on the minimum. You don't want that. I usually set it right in the middle. Max, minimum in the middle. This is your tension knob. Tighten this thing up. Reel your bait up. See, it falls like that. You want to tighten it up a little bit more. So now it's not falling. See how my bait's not falling? You want to loosen it till it starts to fall. There you go. See how it's falling? Now watch. No backlash. That is how you program a bait caster. Now, once you get good, oh, Rip, that was a fish. Once you get good, you can loosen it up a little bit to really get some distance. But if you're just trying to figure out how to cast this thing without getting a backlash, that's how you do it. Just figure out to bring back the old... Oh, look at that. I just side fished that one. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Oh, wow. Woo! What up, Ricky? We literally saw that fish bust on some bluegill. Or it could be the fry that we saw even. Look at that. Well, that's not too bad. I think that was like what? The, basically the first real cast after the old demonstration. We got largey right there. Larry the largey. That's the old topwater fish. Open water. The fish exploded. This thing, this thing's got as much backbone as 
I don't even know what, not much. I mean, it caught the fish. So that was that was interesting. That was an open water, and that's also why I got the popping frog. Um, because I can fish it in open water and I can twitch it. You saw like I twitched it really hard and it makes a blooping sound. And oh, there's a there's a bluegill under it right now. That's a big couple of big bluegills. Too bad Bonzo's on bluegill duty. They're everywhere right now. That's one reason why I got the old popper. So it's got this lip on it. You basically can make more commotion in open water versus a Oh, that's a, that's a frog, that's not even a bass. Versus a normal one, it's just like a more of a walking. So anyways, good start, we got one. Off the old sight fish, open water. I think it's gonna be a good day. Oh, we got one over there. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's dancing. That was the one I, I said earlier, 100% we have a catfish on there. All right, we'll let, it, we'll let him chill. We're gonna fish down and back. Boys, we got a catfish on the line. I don't wanna jinx it, because obviously we haven't pulled it up yet, but I mean, it is pulling it around, folks. That's a good sign, little catfish. Meow. Whiskers are biting today. That is a good sign. It is, I mean, it is doing the old tug tug over there. It's looking good. Looking good, folks. Stay tuned. We could have some Kager catfish on the line. But first, we gotta catch some more largies. All right, folks. Well, we're headed off. The old catfish, he's making a run for it. He's running right to a tree right now. So we're gonna go as fast as we can and try to wrangle him up before he gets off. We don't want him to get off. See if we can get him to go out deeper. Oh, see this tree? Well, I tell you, I guarantee you he's, oh, wow. Look at him. Got him. Got him. Oh, squeaker. What up, Ricky? He's just a wee guy. Oh, look, no bait on that guy. I thought for sure he was gonna get, I felt the tree. He was He was in it. He was yeah. chilling. But, hey, Rick, Rick, Rick. I'd say he's probably too small, yeah, huh? I'm hungry, but. Cause I saw some guy, one guy, he did this one time. Oh God, rip, I just stabbed myself. From ear to your fingertips is like a good eater size. He's a little too small. I think he's speaking Spanish. All right, see you later, Rick. Well, that's a good sign. He's a little too small. You probably like, don't need what, that guy. 10 minutes? That was like 10 minutes, yeah. We'll go, we'll go throw it right back in the same spot. We might get a bigger one. We, we're thinking about doing a catch and cook. Bombs is always on catch and cook duty. Let's go throw it out back in the same spot and see if we get another one. All right, bombs away. Boom. All right, jug's back out. Back to dangling. Oh, you see him? You can literally see him. That was crazy. He's just a little guy. Here, oh shoot, I don't have another rod. That, that's right, right there's where you need the old one too. Throw that old stick bait in there and you'd catch him. We're gonna make a little switch up here, folks. The frog, yeah, it's doing all right, but I'm missing some fish. I don't like missing fish. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off the old top water and we're gonna switch to the stick bait weightless Texas rig. So it's gonna be a really good option for pitching these little pockets, weed edges, stuff like this. You've seen where we've getting the bites. It's on them weed edges. So one really effective way is to throw a Texas rig plastic on the weed edges. Sometimes, I mean, I. Ideally, I would probably throw like a really light weight on this to kind of get it down. What? What did we buy? Rotating worm. <sighs> what the hell, Walmart? I thought it was just a tea rig. I guess this is, we're gonna have a spinning worm. Is what you're gonna call this guy? So we got the little spinning worm out here. Oh, criminy! This is not a. This is not what I expected. Look at that worm. Look at that hook. Whose idea was this? Who's like, hey, let's just let's twist this thing around. I bet that'll catch more fish. Well, now I, I'm not promising anything, anything amazing, but we're gonna try this. See if I can catch some of those fish that are just being a little bit finicky towards the top water. It is the middle of the day, folks. So your top water bite is not gonna be rip. Your top water bite's not gonna be prime right now. Doesn't mean it won't happen. It's just not gonna be prime. So we're gonna switch it up. We're waiting for another catfish. Bonds is hoping for an eater so we can eat it, but it may happen. It may not. We're not sure, but we're gonna get this guy tied on and hopefully catch a fish. Stay tuned. Like a wiener is a technical term for a hot dog. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. There it is. Oh yeah. In case you guys are wondering, wiener is a technical term for a hot dog. We were having big discussions here prior to this fish catch. <laughs> that audio bit's gonna be good. We're like, what were they talking about before he set the hook? Look at that. The old weightless. Right? Oh, your little twisty hook. It hooked him right in the back of the throat like you want it. Look at that guy. Squeaker. We do need to take some of these squeaks out because there's too many squeaks here. We're in Squeakville. Bonzo squirting. <laughs> Show him. See, I wasn't lying. I'm not making this up. That is fish number two. Well, bass number two. Fish, watching that. That guy's floating around. I don't think we have fish yet. That's fish number three. And honestly, like, I don't know, 30 minutes. We're not doing too bad. The old lottery challenge, although we weren't the luckiest, I think our, our luck fishing has been pretty decent. So we're going to keep going. We got to go to the, the bush. The bush dreams are made of. I think that's where we're going to catch Big Bertha. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, rip. Oh, snap. What's going on here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I thought, Ricky. That's what I thought, Ricky. Oh, rip! Catch and release, folks. That's what we're all about here. Conservation or something. Hey, I'm counting it. Chalk it up. Number three, four. Number three bass. Fourth fish. We're counting it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bush dreams are made up, folks. Woo! Squeaky McGee. See, this is the size you got to take out of. This is squeaky. That's squeaky town. Squeakyville. You know what I'm saying? Hey. That's another fish though. Chalk them up. We're gonna see if we can catch another one in this bush. I don't see anything on the jugs yet. Fish number, I think five. Boom. Oh, oh, yes sir, right here, baby. Oh, another one. 
bites the dust. What up, Junior? Yes, sir. The old stick bait on the bush dreams are made of. You want to knot for like three seconds? Hey, 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 hey. Easy does it. I will say, though, it hooks some pretty good this little curvy hook thing there you go but oh is he is he blind rip no man you know, he's chilling kind of looks a little blind a little one i wonder all right folks well i'd say since i keep breaking these worms off one fish at a time let's go check these jugs all right bonzo it's all you buddy oh come on you got it no no still bait on it still have bait on one of them on the top one nothing oh for three oh one oh for one yes biggin oh no bait on that and no bait. Sick. You grabbing this one, Banjo? Sure. Got your AirPods in? Biggin. Biggin. Nothing. And... Oh, we got a wiener on one. That's good. Well, folks. I mean, honestly, bass fishing wasn't bad. I mean, we caught catfish, too. Middle of the day. I, we were just brainstorming. I think you're supposed to dunk that. Because how hard is that bait now? Oh, it's hard. Ew, gross. So we think you're supposed to put it on the hook, dunk it, and then mold it, which is a definite possibility. We didn't do that. Probably should have done that. So let me know if that's what we're supposed to do. You guys, will, I'm sure you guys will know. You guys know a lot about catfishing a lot more than me. But you know, if anything, if you guys take anything back home from this video, it is that scratch off tickets are not good investments. This is the second time I've done it. If I remember right, the last time I did it, it was about the same. It's like a 50, 55% return on your investment. Not a good one. Honestly, you'd probably have better luck just buying like two and hoping that you get a winner to break even rather than buying a bunch because I just feel like we won good on a couple. A couple we made like 40 bucks and the rest, I'm sure this wind noise is probably pretty good. Good mm -hmm. audio, I'm sure. Anyways, all I'm saying is a lot of tickets, they just ain't it. They ain't, they ain't good for investment. But I will say we had a good time. I mean, Bonzo, he saw lots of birds. That was a good time. Caught a catfish, caught three, four, five bass. That was, that was pretty neat. I mean, for like an hour, two hours, a little session a little afternoon we are a little bit bummed we didn't get eater catfish but you win some you lose some if you guys have any catfishing tips you guys let me know in the comment section down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video remember beefcake merch this guy this deal i'm not wearing a hat but you guys well you're wearing a hat look at that shoe. Hat. oh shoot look at that shirt that's your shoe shirt we're calling that the carol cake hat because it looks like carol and then just be it's beef because she's beef because she's a cow you guys get it it's funny we're funny we're hilarious july 20th marking your calendars dropping beefcake merch see you guys next time peace A wiener is a technical term for a hot dog.